Southwest, welcome back to Wolf Bite. I'm Katie Pittman. And I'm Sam Suarez. We have been working hard and are excited to share our final show of the semester with you. Coming up, learn how social media has helped a local animal shelter. Test your knowledge with a fun trivia game. And learn more about the important election coming up in January. All this and more on this edition of Wolf Bite TV. It has been a great first semester and we are looking forward to winter break. With finals just around the corner, it's important that we all stay motivated. So let's take a look at a refreshing incentive being provided to our Southwest staff members. Students may have noticed a brand new Blue Valley Southwest Instagram account this year. To really show the community and everybody um, around who we are and what we're about. Talking specifically about that Protect the Pack and how we are a group coming together. This new account, ran by our very own admin, focuses on bringing people together and showcasing what is going on in the BVSW community. Spending more time kind of focusing on those celebrations and those cool things that we're doing, whether it's in the classroom or it's on the field, or hoping that more people are seeing the awesome things we do day in and day out. Social media is something that everybody utilizes, and so it was hope hopeful that the more people that are connected and kind of see the bigger pictures showing of what Protect the Pack is. Along with the new Instagram account, Admin is working to recognize the hard work by our staff here at Southwest. Southwest SIP is something that we created this summer as an administration team. When working over the summer, we talked about ways that we could get into the classroom, see what students are doing, and see what teachers are doing, and getting more involved in that learning environment. We recognize one teacher of the week for some outstanding academic work that they're doing day in and day out with our students. We come together as an administration team and we talk about all of the great things that we've seen walking through the classrooms and what things might have stood out for that week. Winners of the Southwest SIP Award receive a quick trip drink of their choice. Admin is hoping the Instagram account and award will bring the community together and remind everyone what it means to protect the pack. I'm focusing on the whole idea of education and how it all comes together in the end. Anytime I've walked into a classroom here, it's just brightened my day and made it that much better. We have some awesome staff and awesome students here. To learn more and stay up to date about which staff member wins the award next, check out at SW Timberwolves on Instagram. Reporting for Wolf 5 TV, this has been Natalie Ayers. Thanks to our students and staff, Southwest Spirit has been higher than ever. Now let's head over to Natalie to hear more about some accomplishments made by our Southwest students. What's up Southwest? I'm Natalie Ayers. First up, we have our art department. They won first overall at the Raymore Peculiar Annual Art Competition for the first time in school history and had four individual artists take home first place prizes as well. Amazing job to all of them. Next up, our eSports team has had a great year so far. The Senior Halo Infinite team is currently ranked fourth in high school eSports league with a fantastic record of 7-1, and one, which qualifies them for the championship playoff series. And finally, we have our theater department. They recently put on an incredible production of The Little Mermaid, and the performance was judged, and cast members are hoping to be nominated for a Blue Star Award. Good luck to our theater department, and to learn more, head over to the BBSW News website. Now back to Katie and Sam, who the rest of this show has in store. We are so proud of all the accomplishments made by our T-Wolves. Next up, let's see if your fellow students can guess what is inside the fear box. Three, two, one. Hey Southwest, today we're feeling stuff in this box. Wait, um... Pop tabs. It's bottle caps. Oh, that's not what I was thinking of though. Wait, are they... Are they like, wrappers? What is she saying? 
Those are bows. Oh, it's the bows from the Christmas. This is. <laughs> it's a marshmallow. It's a little mini marshmallows. Are these like stale marshmallows? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, that's jello. What? Oh, it's a little slimy. Don't get your hands all over it. It's jello. Why are you still what? touching it? Wait. Oh. It's Jello. Dream, hit us out. Dream, dream. Dream. Oh. Dream. <laughs> I don't touch the Jello. Like, well, what, that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Shut up. Um, oh. It's a pine cone. It's it's a acorn. It's, no, it's, it's a one it's of those a pine cone. <laughs> Ow! Two. Three, two, one. Uh. Ew! Is this like ravioli or something? It's fettuccine Alfredo. That was your hand that got really grossed up. <laughs> is it a noodle? This is spaghetti! It's a <laughs> Is it... Is it an animal? Is it a rat? Shut <laughs> but no. That's beans. No way, you gave me a bean. <laughs> I'm not doing baked, a... Are these baked beans? Those are very oh, much um, kidney beans. Are they good? <laughs> like. Yeah, eat it. Go ahead. Ew. It's a bean. Wait. Those are kind of good. <laughs> And proteins. Oh, um, okay. it's bulking season, so. <laughs> <laughs> what? I did not think those were kidney beans. Now, show us what you know in this edition of 10 Second Trivia. Hey, Southwest, I'm Addie Durth, and welcome back to 10 Second Trivia. Here we give you three questions and 10 seconds to answer each. Let's go. First up, in which country were the first Winter Olympics held? Greece, France, Canada, or Austria? In 1924, the Winter Olympics were held in France. What type of fruit is a winter banana? Cherry, banana, apple, or watermelon? A winter banana is a type of apple. And finally, what dog breed has the highest adoption rate from shelters in the United States? Golden Retriever, Dachshund, Pitbull, or Labrador Retriever? Golden Retrievers are the most adopted dog in the United States. For this question, let's see how you compare to our Instagram followers. We asked them this same question and over 62% got it right. And a special shout out to Drew Price for being the first to get this question correct. Be sure to follow all of our socials at BVSWWolfBite to participate in future activities. Now back to you Katie and Sam. Thank you Addy. I have to say I'm not surprised that Golden Retrievers are the most adopted, but I may be biased. Now, let's learn a little bit more about a local animal shelter and how their social media platforms have helped their animals out. Welcome to Casey Pet Project, a nonprofit animal shelter located in Kansas City. We started in a shelter that was not a great place for animals to go to. It was dark, it was scary, it was loud, it was it smelled bad. That's where we started and now we're in this beautiful campus. We did that through storytelling. We were able to just tell the story of our organization and our pets and still encourage people to come and adopt. Despite their growth, the shelter still faces many challenges on a daily basis. This year in particular, we've experienced a lot of challenges with space. So we are taking in between 40 and 50 pets a day and have been since like April. So it's been a long, long summer. It's just always all the time the sense of urgency and how can we all work together to get pets out of the building, keep them from coming into the shelter in the first place. Social media has allowed the shelter to rally the community in support. Social media has been tremendous and we really approached everything that we've done from a grassroots perspective um, because if you're not reaching everybody in the community then you know you need to figure out ways to do that. Social media has provided a platform for the shelter to reach a larger community when in need. Whenever um, we put out a plea that we need something, um, whether it's a donation or um, you know we need people to come and foster kittens or whatever it is and we see the actions of the community stepping up to help us. You know, just this week we had a video that we put up with a bunch of puppies and just talking about cute puppies, but also the fact that we need food to help feed them. And yesterday we got 14 cases of food in the mail from people who sent it in because they saw it on TikTok. That is like a, just a crucial part of social media. And I'm a firm believer that you have to be transparent. You have to talk about your triumphs. You have to talk about your struggles, your needs. If you don't, your community can't come along with you. Transparency has helped the shelter tell their story and move them towards their ultimate goal.
Social media has helped us save lives. That's the biggest piece. It helped us build this building. It helped us uh, get to where we are today. It helps get our organization to the next level in terms of you know fundraising and donations and all of that because it is a free resource for nonprofits to use. It's helped us save over 100,000 lives since we took over the shelter contract in 2012 and we couldn't have done that without our community and bringing them along with us. To learn more or get involved, you can visit their website, kcpetproject.org. Reporting for Wolf Bite TV, this has been Ava Williams. It's so great to see how the community is helping these animals. Next, let's head on over to Claire to get an update on Southwest Sports. Hey Southwest, I'm Claire Vestwistad and we're going to be talking about sports. As our fall season comes to an end, we want to congratulate all of our athletes on their hard and dedicated work. First up, we've got the boys cross country team who won the Kansas State Championship for the first time in school history. In addition, there was four individual placements on the boys' side and one on the girls' side. Congratulations, runners. On November 18th, the dance team traveled to Topeka and won the state championship. The next day, the cheer team competed and won state runner-ups. Congratulations to both of those teams. The boys' soccer team had an amazing season, winning EKL regionals and state runner-up. They finished off the season strong, going 13-5. and Great job, boys. Last but not least, our football team won sectionals for the first time in our school's history. Great job to all fall athletes. As fall sports are coming to an end, our winter sports are just around the corner. Be sure to go to all of those games, and if you can't make it, make sure to watch our live streams on our YouTube channel and watch out for episodes of The Bite on our Instagram. Now back to you, Sam and Katie. Thank you, Claire, for the update. We are so proud of all of our fall athletes for their hard work. And good luck to our winter athletes as well. Now let's see how these students do in a new trivia game. I'm so, like, actually so nervous, because if I'm, like, embarrassed myself, <laughs> If it is literally any history question, he's going to win any well, I don't history know. question. No clue. 2010. 2010. Gosh, Total guess. Dang. Total guess. So it goes Blue Valley, Southwest, Star Alma Mater. On, wait, no, no, wait. <laughs> oh God. I need the gym wall right now. <laughs> I know, I'm just looking up. Uh. <laughs> Isn't it just our alma mater? Gosh, we've worked at this so hard. We shall forever loyal be. Yeah. You can't hold on. We shall like, forever like, loyal be. Yes, yes. Let's go. You should know this, that's a chiropractor. Really? You don't yep. know that? Yeah. Okay. Um, sternum. Tape, right? Is it like kneecaps? <laughs> Is it kneecaps? Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know about that. Oh god. Oh Is it gosh. that chicken and NyQuil thing? Nope. Corn. Let's go. No. It's corn. A big lump of nuts. It has a juice. It has a juice. <laughs> Not doing it. In the correct context? Yeah. Or like, Dang. what word was it? Slight? Slay. Oh, gosh, this is, gonna slay? Sound so, this is gonna sound so weird, but it's like, dang, slay! Maddie, you're slaying. She knew it. Like, it's like, oh, that slay. It's like talking about something that's like, good, like cool. I, I don't know, but that is a stretch. <laughs> You can say that about anything. You can I'm say not, that with any I'm word. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Cheats win. I'm all for that. Um, no. I don't advocate for cheating. I just like accidentally did. Accidentally. Good game. Good game. Yep. Good job. Did I get any Gen Z questions? No. <laughs> Some of those questions are pretty tricky. I didn't even know them. Something else students may not know a lot about is the important election coming up in January of 2023. Well, Katie. Let's look a little bit more into Blue Valley's bond and what it may bring for Southwest students. The Blue Valley community has likely heard quite a bit of talk about Bond 2023, but what exactly is this? It gives us an opportunity to borrow dollars in order to make an investment in our facilities, our safety, and our technology. It's really the only way that we can fund those major improvements within a district. In January, voters will decide whether or not Blue Valley can take out loans that will go towards district-wide improvements. 
far? So the bonds used for, again, technology, facilities, and safety district-wide. We're looking at adding multi-purpose auxiliary gymnasiums at Blue Valley Southwest and Blue Valley West. We're looking to get rid of mobiles at our elementary schools and, and safety improvements district-wide. So a lot of great projects. Bond also proposes adding a new middle school that would be attended by some of the 824 students enrolled at Aubrey Bend. Our building is set for capacity, I believe, at 786 students. So right now with our enrollment, we are beyond that capacity. With that said, we have enough lockers, classroom space, we have enough. It's just the hallways are crowded. Um, we do have some teachers that do not have their own classroom. They have to travel you know, throughout their day for their teaching space. But our students have enough space. It's just the actual instructional side for some of our teachers. They do have to share classrooms. The new middle school would not be set to open until 2026, but students are still encouraged to stay informed about the bond. It's important for students to know about this because we want our community to be informed. And if our students are informed, they can go home and talk about this with their parents, with their neighbors. Our last bond, we had a turnout of only around 30% of registered voters in the district. We'd really like to see that number increase. We'd like to get our, our, our community involved. Since this bond will not increase the tax rate, the Blue Valley School District is hoping voters will be in support. Somebody who's against it might say that if you don't pass this bond, my taxes would go down. And that is true. But at the same time, if, if we don't pass this bond, we don't invest in our schools, we're not investing in our students and our staff, and we're not investing in our community. People move to Overland Park because of our schools. We have to make sure we continue to maintain those. For more information, visit www.bluevalleyk12.org slash bond. Reporting for Wolf Bite TV, this has been Katie Pittman. If you're over the age of 18, make sure to register to vote on this important issue. If not, it is still important to know what is going on in our community. Well, Sam, I think it's time we head over to Emma to hear what's going on in the world around us. Thank you, Katie and Sam. Welcome back to What's Trending, where we talk about the latest news and trends in the world around us. I'm your host, Emma Smith. First up, the artist that took over 2022. Taylor Swift broke multiple records following the release of her latest album, Midnight's, and the announcement of her upcoming Eros tour. In addition, Ticketmaster is facing backlash after their website crashed during the tour's presale, forcing them to cancel the general sale scheduled for a few days later. Taylor Swift is scheduled to play two shows at Arrowhead Stadium in July of 2023. Next up, the holiday season has officially begun. Cloud slides, mini projectors, and second generation AirPod Pros are expected to be popular gifts this season. And finally, on November 19th, there was a shooting at an LGBTQ plus nightclub in Colorado Springs. The shooting left five dead and over a dozen injured. As of November 28th, there have been over 610 mass shootings in America, the second most recorded for a single year. Now back to Katie and Sam. Thank you, Emma, for updating us on all the latest news and trends. And thank you for tuning in to this edition of Wolf Fight TV. Make sure to follow us on all our social media at BVSW Wolf Fight and tune into our live streams on our YouTube channel at BVSW Broadcast. Happy holidays, D-Wolves. Bye.